Zygisky L2 CPP Dumper Detection Solution As we all know, there are two script compilers in Unity Engine, Mono and IL2 CPP. These two script compilers have their own advantages, but there are also some security issues. This article will analyze them from the perspective of game security and provide solutions. Mono is a cross-platform open-source.NET implementation, which allows developers to use C-Sharp and other programming languages to write game logic, providing a simple and easy-to-use environment for game development and efficient script compilation speed, which is favored by some small and medium-sized games. In mono mode, the game C-Sharp code is compiled into IL, intermediate language, and generates DLL files, and then the DLLs are typed into the game package file. However, since IL is very easy to be analyzed and reversed by professional decompilers such as ILSpy.net Reflector, the security of the game is very poor without protection. This picture shows .NET Reflector can almost restore c -sharp files. Compared with Mono, IL2CPP can convert game c -sharp code to C++ code, and then compile it to native code for each platform. Native code increases the difficulty of reverse decompile, which can effectively increase the difficulty of game hacking and making cheats. In addition, IL2CPP also has the advantages of high execution efficiency and small memory consumption, and has been adopted by most games. This picture shows IL2CPP build project automatic step-by-step -step diagram. Although IL2CPP can improve game security to some extent, it is not without vulnerabilities. In IL2CPP mode, Unity records class names, property names, strings, and other information from c -sharp code in the global metadata.that file, and the engine relies on this data to implement certain c -sharp language features. The engine relies on this data to implement certain c -sharp language features. When IL2CPP starts up, it reads the required class names, property names, etc. from this file, which is the mechanism that gives hackers a chance to exploit. A hacker can use IL2CPP dumper to parse the global metadata.that file, and then translate the class names and other string information in the file into native code, which greatly reduces the difficulty of reverse analysis. This picture shows IL2CPP dumper receives the path of libillinois2cpp so global metadata.that file. In the face of IL2CPP dumper's reverse analysis, the libillinois2cpp so file and global metadata that file can be encrypted to fight against it, so as to avoid the game code being analyzed. The emergence of reverse tools such as Zygisk IL2CPP dumper and Funal2CPP has raised the intensity of game security confrontation to a new level. This picture shows reverse tool Zygisk IL2CPP dumper interface and operation flow. Zygisk IL2 CPP Dumper is a plugin in Magisk, which is a brushing tool. Compared with the static analysis of IL2 CPP Dumper, Zygisk IL2 CPP Dumper has the following features. Zygisk IL2 CPP Dumper can be used to analyze the security of the game. IL2 CPP Dumper can do dynamic dump function names and function offsets during game runtime, which can bypass protection, encryption, and obfuscation. After launching the game, dump.cs will be automatically generated in the directory, even if the game has detected abnormal crushes, it will not affect the acquisition of dump.cs. Zygisk IL2 CPP Dumper adopts GitHub action, only need to fork the project, fill in the package name and other simple steps to reverse analyze the code, which greatly reduces the threshold of cheats and hacks. In response to the serious harm caused by Zygisk IL2 CPP Dumper reverse analysis tool to the game, JitGuard Game Protection has developed a set of mature and perfect countermeasure solution, which can effectively raise the threshold of analysis and hack. Magisk Special Detection JitGuard's exclusive detection solution can still accurately identify and perform operations such as crushes when all hidden options of Magisk are fully opened.